Hello everyone, this is me Farid Pana, your friend guide and instructor in this channel. Today we're going to look at another option of Adobe Illustrator which is called Intertwine which was added to our Adobe Illustrator. I think it was in 22. I guess it was added in 22. Who cares? It is added to our Adobe Illustrator. It has a really unique way of usage in our software. So let's jump to our computer screen. Suppose we have a text, let me write funnel and let's draw a brush stroke, select your brush, change its color to red. Increase the stroke. Now you guys know you can simplify it too. Go to your path and simplify. Now to use intertwine where it is object intertwine. Select both of them. Go to your intertwine. Make them. Yeah. We made them intertwine. Now we need to do a few changes. For example, I need this point to go behind the top of a letter this one i think it's fine control z then this section this is okay and this section now you guys can see how easy it is to use the line go front and back in our text shape whatever it is what if this stroke is a row in order to do that we will learn how to draw a rope as well control side to delete all these things or if you do not want a control side we can do object intertwine release intertwine it will be released and delete it okay so let's drag it down first we need to draw a rope making rope in your brushes really easy go to the shape rectangular tool Draw your tool just off the brush stroke. Turn the brush stroke off to none. Go to your direct selection tool. Select these two points. Curve them. Then rotate them. Hold shift so it is rotated 45 degrees. Change the color from fill to stroke. Increase the stroke so it's more visible. The next thing we need to do is go to our lines, draw some lines. We need to look at a little bit more realistic. Select all of them and hold shift. Just select the main shape of yours. Go to the stroke, I think decrease the stroke a bit. And the next thing is make it round. Go to Y the form and select this one. Fine. Then go to symbols. Select all of them. Drag it to, uh, uh, sorry, not symbols, swatches. Go to your swatches. Drag it to your swatches. If you want to give them color, we can also add a fill color to. Let's change this color to gray. Don't make it too dark. Select this path. Go to object, path, and outline stroke. Now bring down your swatches. Select all of them. Drag to your swatches. When we do that, draw a rectangle or square. Click on your swatches. It is applied to your stroke or shape, but it is in the rope. Double click on it. We need to do some adjustments. Let's decrease the width until it overlaps their point, um, their what, strokes. Yeah, this much is fine. Now it looks smooth. Rope kind of thing, delete it. And bring your pattern on your screen. You guys can see your pattern. And you can also see a 
square here. Select it, go to your shape under tool, hold alt so you can delete all the unnecessary shapes or points from your pattern. Select direct selection tool, delete this one. Now we need to do what? Select this one, go to your brush, make sure it is selected. Click on new, pattern brush, okay. So this is how it will look. Change the matter to tint. Change the color to black. I hope it works. Yeah, it does. Now bring back your name or the text you have for design, select your brush, change the, remove the fill. Now when we draw the rope, now select both of them, go to your object, intertwine make now we need to do what get rid of this the section and the next one is here and I guess this point See, this is one way to use your intertwine tool, like not to the option. I guess you guys understood what I meant to do and what you guys are able to do with your intertwine option. See you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and share it with your friends to spread the knowledge. Thank you guys.